Well then, I think I'm going to go with the one that I particularly am I'm playing right now that I'm really enjoying, and that will be Breath of the Wild. It'll just take me a moment to switch over. Let's leave that game going for just um Thank you for lurking, Dimmer. But for now, I think I'm going to hop into this Discord channel so no one can bother me. Game. Turn on. And this one. Disconnect. All right, so Zelda's starting up. I'll hop straight over to that as soon as it appears. Yes, I know, I got them all. Got them all. The controllers were giving me a, a bit of a fit. So I'm pretty sure now I can quit Windward. Go. Change, let me real quick change the game title. No, I'll just leave it on Extra Life for now. I'll have to edit this part. Yeah, I'll just leave it on extra life. Oh. Well, so you, I can see you got sound. Oh. I have to switch my head, my headphones over, so I can hear the game like you. And there we go. Yeah. So when I was contemplating playing this earlier before I remembered, oh yeah, I've got we've got Pixel Sharks today, so I shouldn't start streaming this yet. My title of it was going to be So uh, Defeated Divine Beast Um Ratu. Now what? So before I leave this area, I want to go I did get did I do that? Yes, I did that shelter. I want to go over here and see what's up on this side. Fair, just fair warning to everybody here, I get very, very, very distracted at this game. I meant to do all this Zora stuff. Uh, I did a lot of this on Thursday night. Oh yeah, there's another shield and a sword. I think I've got the sword. Yeah, I got the sword already. But hey, if I drop the ones I have... Pick that up. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. I'll get, I'll get fresh ones. There we go. So they're now they're all fresh instead of slightly damaged. One of the thing, one of the things I don't like about this game, early game, is that everything is so stinking fragile. Grumble, grumble. What are you, what are you grumbling about now, Trello? I, n I knew you were the same link from a hundred years ago. You did a fine job this time. May Lady Mipha's spirit live on within all of us. Hmm. I must prepare for the Champion Festival. I do not have time to talk. Where did I drop it? This is the guy that was looking for the... For the... Trident. The ceremonial trident. Oh, no, I'm out of arrows. Well, I'm gonna have to fix that problem. Yeah, I meant to do all the, the Zora stuff on Wednesday. And I... So, I went hunting for Bokoblin Guts, which I'm going to have to do again today at some point, because I want to increase, I want to have some of my armor blessed. And she is a very demanding fairy. But in the process of doing that, I got really sidetracked and ended up getting a tower, getting the tower in Hyrule Forest, and then getting lost up in the mountains. I think I'm supposed to go towards the Goron, going towards Death Mountain next. 
I haven't done much like research into Thrust. I've watched people play it, but I haven't really done much research into it because I wanted to, you know, enjoy it myself. But I don't really know what all of the the towers are that I could potentially and you know, with all like what all dungeons and stuff I could eventually go into. I'm hoping there's something that's like the the forest temple in Ocarina of Time. Still by far my favorite. I enjoyed the desert temple in that one too. But the forest temple just I, for me when I'm playing replaying Ocarina of Time, the forest temple is the pinnacle of the game for me. I'm not really once it's done, I'm kind of disappointed. The game's kind of over. It's like going to Dragon Con. Every day, all the great, you're looking forward to all the days until Monday comes along, and then you know that the next, that after that, it's over. So you don't really enjoy Monday as much, <laughs> even though there's still quick content going on. I see you out there, you little snail. Ooh, several of them. Sneaky river snail. What do we have here? How do I unlock this? I know. And I can go up the waterfall. Maybe make that guy happy by finally diving off of one. Oh, this is where I want to be. Let's see. And up we go. Let's see what's up here. Okay. Nice. This is not the same place I was before. Doesn't look like. I don't have to worry about that big mean beast up there. I had an easier time with the boss in the in the in the Divine Beast Latru than I did up there where the electro the elect the elect the shock arrows were. Oh, hey, that's what I did most of the week. I understand. Go be productive. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. And if you aren't already following Imperial Jedi, don't I, you just, you're lacking entertainment in your life, especially if you like things like City Skylines and um, I don't know if you do Planet Coaster. Do you do Planet Coaster? I have to look again. I know City Skylines. Whenever I need to, like, whenever I think I'm finally starting to get the hang of City Skylines, I go watch him, and then I realize I know nothing. Sometimes. I think yeah, that's I think that's going to be one of the games I throw in. I throw in next after I finish Tower of Time. Come on, come on, you can oh, come on, you can do it. Come on. Finish resting. There you go. Oh yeah, and and his cities are amazing. I also I also watch Mr. Gray do them and he is constantly talking about how uh, I'll compliment him on something. He's like, yeah, I learned that from Imperial Jedi. So, if you like watching city building, definitely check out Imperial Jedi's channel. You will not regret it. So, now, I'm done I'm done talking about you. I've said all the good things I'm going to say. Go, go be productive. I'm not going to keep you distracted any longer. Hi. Um, I hmm. Just, I just sent you an invite to my world. Oh, okay. Well, I'll do it later, okay? So okay, we'll, we'll do it later, okay? Oh, hey, are you done? No. You're still talking to her? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Imperial Jedi. Have a good rest of your day. Um, I don't think there's really anything else up here. So I should go dive off that waterfall. Make that guy one guy happy. There's a like an ongoing diving um, quest where the guy wants me to dive off of waterfalls. So I should go do that and then head on out of this zone. Go hunt some bokoblins. I need some guts. These guys are really stingy with their guts. Can't imagine why. They don't like giving them up. They have no problem whatsoever getting into a fight and dying. When it comes to giving up their guts, 
That's where they draw the line. Yep, go on, Fox. Get away. I'm not after you. I don't have any arrows, or I would be after you. Wait. Where'd the rain go? Wow. I was like, did I just walk out of a zone where it was raining? No, it looks like the rain passed anyway. Hmm. No, this isn't a place where I can do that. So, no diving in that one. Because if I could have dived there, it wouldn't have put me into the float. Too bad it didn't show that to me another time. Ooh, fireflies. I like fireflies. They helped me get those all those shock arrows. They're letting me be very, very, very stealthy. Shrooms are good also. Ooh, there's another one. Shh. Oh, where'd you go? Stop being above me. There we go. Okay. Go get another one. I find it interesting, I find it amusing that we're quietly hunting fireflies to help make sneaky potions. And we're finding silent shrooms in the process. Aw, oh, man. Stop landing. Come on up. Mm, I think we're done. They're all hiding now. I think they figured out I was there. Hmm. Hmm. And... I know I can dive off of those waterfalls. The question is, will they count? So the bigger question is, do I really care right now? I mean, if I'd gone up that side, maybe, but I'm all the way over here. Here's the dam. I don't think it'll let me dive off that one. So... Get up on this higher point right here and try to jump down. Just because I want to see if I can. Jumped a little too early, but I think I'm okay. It's nice to know how far I can actually go. Thing down there. There's something there. There's a door of some kind. Wondering if there's a. Oh, it's gonna let me dive. <laughs> That's how you know. But this time I didn't want to dive. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to come back to this later. Examine. History of the Zora Part 3 The Miracle of the White Scale. Our scholars say that in the distant, pa distant past, Zoro's domain had a king with no special talent for the art of war. What he lacked in skill with the blade, he made up for in love for his people, and especially love for his queen. One day, news reached the king of a horde of monsters gathering in the Zadoban highlands. The king steeled himself for war to protect his people, but the queen knew how ill-suited for the task he was. Worried for his life, she wove one of her own scales into his armor, hoping that her love would protect them in battle. It seemed for a time that the tide of battle favored the Zora, and that all would make it safely home. But the, cu the cunning Lizalfos general saw an opening and seized it, driving the king's forces into a corner. Just when the general's sword was ready to crash down upon the king, a miracle took place. An errant sunbeam reflected from the scale in his armor blinded the Lizalfos, stopping the death blow from falling. This was the chance the king needed to rally his forces and turn the tide, taking down the general and securing victory. This came to be known as the Miracle of the White Scale, a scale that only female Zora possess. It was this miracle that began the tradition of Zora princesses crafting armor for their future husbands. I like the ones I'm wearing. Well, that was informative. But other than that, it didn't give much else. 
tower up there. Is there another one up this way? Told you I get distracted. Oh, a shiny! I'm gonna go look at it. I don't see another one like around this corner up here or up here. And I'm teleporting out of here. Anything? Anything? Ooh, what's this? Hey, come on. I don't care. I'm not after you. Nothing there. This just want to be able to see that you guys can hear the sound from the game. Well, we've been up here all through the night. Nothing else. Wow. Nice long sneaky trail for nothing. Maybe it's over here. Although technically that was a complete story. Yeah, we're back to the we're back to the main road. Hmm. Okay. Well, I need to go somewhere where there are a lot of little goblins around, and I think this is where I need to go. Ha! The Hamar Shrine. I can get my horse there. I have to pick which one I'll take. Either Ash, Shadowfax, or Fiona. They're load screens. That's one thing I don't like about them, the load screens. Okay, we'll get our horse. There's Moonlight Girl. Do I still have an axe? Yes, I do. I don't need to worry about that. I don't need directions. Take one out. Take a horse. Hmm. Speed. She's technically. Azure is technically faster than Shadowfax. Shadowfax has more stamina. I haven't reached Ash in a while. Let's ride Ash for now. Even though the other two have the cool. Um, hairdos. Not to. Go back to that other. Hmm. To go back to that other stable to get her. Beetle! Wake up, Beetle. Yeah. You're a great customer, and since today is Customer Appreciation Day, I want you to have this. Ancient arrow. An arrow struck, an arrow created using ancient technology. To be struck with one is to be consigned to oblivion in an instant. It deals devastating damage, even against guardians. I'm gonna hang on to that one. This this even works on those guardian things. It's amazing. I hear it works best if you hit the guardians in the eye with it. This old guy named Robbie gave it to me. To find him, go way north past Zoro's domain, all the way to Akala Ancient Tech Lab. See that? I actually might be where I go next. Old Robbie makes a bunch of other weird weapons and clothes and stuff. I guess he's what you'd call a mad scientist, which is kind of cool, but also terrifying. If you want strong weapons and stuff, you should go see him. Anyway, back to the business. See what I've got. If he's got stronger weapons, I'm all for going to see this guy. Um, I'm keep that. Um, probably want to hang on to the star fragment. These things are a little more common. I've run into these things all over the place. Wow. Yep, yep. Yep, I got stuff to do to my house, man. Give me... Give me the rupees. 
No, no. Sorry, I didn't mean to disappoint you. Wow. Yes. Sorry. Yay. Didn't mean to play a trick on you, my friend. Uh. Don't want to give anything else. Not sure I'm going to need these, but I'll hang on to them for now. I also don't know how much inventory, total inventory space that this gives. All right, sorted material. Okay. Goodbye. Let's go hunting. Oh, wait a minute. Do you sell arrows? Because I need some. What have you got? Yes, he does. I don't really want to pay this much for them. Mm. Buy everything you got. How um, much would that be? That works. Wow. All right, there we go. I got enough for now. Goodbye. See you again soon. I haven't found any more razor blade beetles. I haven't been bug hunting in these mountains for a while. I should definitely blow those things up up there. We'll take her down a little bit past them. I have a sneezing coming. <coughs> 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 dry in here and so it's causing some sinus issues and this way oh well thank you ghost can I may I call you ghost or do you prefer ghostly no that's not my wish I love the square bombs this so away rock salt nice and ghost it is yeah these square bombs are so so no 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 more of this dropping in or throwing it and hoping it lands in the right place you just walk up and set it down on it Got some more amber okay now but for these guys over here I want this bomb I don't really have to get it in a right spot. This one, I just need to get it relatively close. Nope, I need that one to go away. It missed. You keep going, bomb. There we go. So I go and say I don't really need to get it in the right spot, and then I throw it in the wrong spot. Boom! Who's still alive? You got two of you? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what's this? What's this? We're not using that, that one-of-a-kind arrow. No, not on Bokoblins. Fine, I'll come down here. Haha. <laughs> no guts, give me the guts, give me the guts. Give me the guts, give me the guts. That's exactly what I needed. So how many do I have now? Five. I need four more. Don't need that. There's an arrow. Is there another one up there somewhere? No. I think that was the one he bounced off the wall. Luckily for me, it didn't break. Uh, okay. So. Anything else? No? Oh, that's two. Don't need it. Is there any more farther down? 
I don't remember if there are more farther down this way. That was the one encampment that I knew for sure was here. I suppose if I just keep heading, if I head back this way, I'll probably find some more. I know there's some on the way to Hatino Village. And technically, I am heading to Hatino Village. I can just teleport there, but got to take care of my house. I got enough, got enough rupees now to get the door put on. Maybe get a few pieces of places to hang some armor and stuff so I don't have to have it on me all the time. Those things are so... Alright, let's go back this way. Nope, nope. Yeah, I think she does cover ground a little faster. But I think it's just... it's a very minor amount of speed boost over Shadowfax. I love the fact that these horses just go down the down the road and I don't really have to do anything. Sorry, I was opening something. Whoa, the horse, whoa, go this way. Sorry, I took my hands off the steering wheel. I love the environment. I'm not going to pass up those. Never know when she's going to want more of those. Don't necessarily need bokoblins, but I mean, choo choos, I need bokoblins, but hey. Beggars can't be choosers. What do we have out here? Oh, bokoblin. Or choo choo. Oh. I'm all kinds of mixed up. Horses. A whole side of the field that I haven't explored yet. Ah! Bokoblins. There we go. Yeah, those beasts, those mis those ruins things, are the, they offer a bunch of stuff, but... Um, the ones that are over there, closer to the wall, I think, are the ones that I searched already. And I still haven't searched all of these, but I don't want to deal with them right now. Because there's probably a guardian in there, and I don't want to deal with one of them. I know the other watch had one, and I woke that thing up, and man, it was hitting me everywhere. The rest of my searching had to be done very carefully. I don't think I can make that far of a shot. Got him, so don't worry about the Okay. Don't need that. Don't need shields. I want guts. Big horns and fangs also. Give me guts. Why are you guys always so greedy with your guts? Give me your feet and your hands. But no guts. Oh, there's another one. Maybe he'll be nice. How close I can get. I mean, I kind of want to let him shoot at me and just dodge so I can get some arrows, but last time I did that, he, they didn't do it for very long. I only picked up like two arrows, and then after that, they stopped. Boom. Oh man, on one of these, these the, the earlier episodes... Nice. On one of the earlier episodes, I was I stumbled across some bear... Um, multiple bears actually, but on one of them, he was running around. This was the night when I intended to do the Zoro's Domain stuff and I got distracted. The 
the bear was running right at me. And I somehow managed to shoot him in the face as he ran by me. Oh, it's showing you tingly stuff. I should have I should have taken a picture of them. And then set my thing to, to lead me to them. I should try that next time I see some. So yeah, I just like luck luck of the draw, just one shot right smack in the face. Caught me by surprise. What are you doing? He was probably the scout for that camp. Yeah, I just ma managed to shoot the air basically right down his snout. Oh my goodness. Lots and lots and lots of apples. Let's go up here and take on this tree. Actually, you know what? Just throw a bomb at it. Yep. I'll dress up and go. No, come back. Don't go to the horse. I know. I don't need I don't need the horse to like me anymore. Okay. Anything else? Nope. And we shall continue on. The way to Hatina Village. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And I know there's more goblins along the road. Just need some that are willing to give up their. They're willing to give up their their guts for me. Not gonna let me search you. That's not. I want to climb it. I want to search it. Did that person go away? Sorry, I was partially. I think these are the ones I searched. Maybe because neither of them. Yeah, this is the batch that I searched. This field right here. Because... Stop trying to climb. I'm not telling you to climb. That person... That uh, that one right there. That's the one that's alive. And we'll start shooting you. If you get too close. And I mean, she was shooting me when I was all the way out there searching some of, some of that, like that one in the middle of the field there. The ones over there where the horses are, those are the ones I don't think I've completely searched. I know there's a whole nother batch of them that I didn't search. Those are the ones I killed earlier. So let's continue on. I know riding on the road doesn't trigger me because the first time I did this... They it didn't trigger it. Dang it! I don't I don't like the big axe weapons. Anything else? No guts. No guts. Go on, horse. I don't want you. I'm not here to get a horse. Here to get Bokoblin guts, and they aren't giving them to me. Shroom over here. I mean, I have enough. No, I don't even have enough to do two. I got plenty of the choo choo jellies. I need three per piece of armor, and I've got three pieces of armor. So I need at least one more before I can do two of them. I'm not even really sure how much of a benefit they're going to gain, but it's considering how squishy I am, I need to do, I need to... I need to get as much help as I can. Ooh, bees! Bees! I'll take some bees. Yep. 
Thank you. Wow. Lots of wood off of that one. Okay, so... At least two bundles on both of those. That's better than I've had in a while. Usually I just get one. Okay, nothing else here? I know that those are there regularly, so if I need, to, if I if I run out of honey, I can always come back. Frogs! Oh, that night that I got distracted doing all of the <laughs> hunting for bulk goblin guts. I, when I when I finally went up and got the tower um, for the Hyrule build, I picked up a rock up there to see what was under it, and this frog hopped out. And before I could catch it, he decided it was better. It was better that he jumped off the tower into suicidal water then let me get catch him so stupid frog committed suicide right in front of me oh rippy come here come here little frog gotcha I found it highly amusing. I need to go watch that episode again and, and clip it. 8.20 p.m. Mm, let's go over here. Not gonna matter with book goblins. They'll be out day or night. Now this one. If I knock this one down the wrong direction, I'll lose all the apples in the water. That happened last time. I threw a bomb at it. Ah! No! No! Back up. Nice! Alright. No, oh, wrong one. That away now. Alright, so I'm going to go in here and sleep for the night. Morning. And I did determine on the last episode that it does matter. Like, how long you give yourself to sleep does actually matter. In terms of how, how much you get healed. Yep, I already talked to you. Oh, nice and rainy. Sorry that you had to stay out here and all this. Sure, you're ready to get moving. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see. I see what I'm looking for. Let's swim across. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Well, it's not really going to matter, but I could get a little farther. Or I have to... There we go. You don't see me. You see nothing. Didn't get quite as good a shot on him. Let's see if maybe they won't come. Hovering. Stop hunching down. Okay, any more arrows? I don't need any more bows. Where'd that one die? He went up here. He blew himself. I blew him up here. Where did you... <sighs> No guts. Okay. 
guys are no fun at all. Headshot. Oh. Thanks. No ding 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 this time. Seared steak. Thank you for pre-cooking it for me. Saves me the trouble. So now let's hop up here. Not bad, I can sell that. Anything else over here? I don't think I've been. No, I haven't been over this way. Let's see what's up here. I kind of skipped past this. I am noticing that I'm not quite as squishy to these anymore. It used to be even these guys were pummeling me to death, but it seems like that boost that I gave, I can take, by the way. I can put this back on. That, the boost that I gave to the, this set that I'm wearing, this mixed set that I'm wearing, um, help. I need to find more of this champion's gear. There's somebody I'm supposed to go show that I'm wearing champion's gear. I have to look through the side quests. Where are we? Oh. Coming out near the other side of the road, the long road. That's right, because that's where that sh the Hatino Tower is there. I did that later. I, I think I cut this way. I went through this way to get to the Hatino village last time. Which is why I'm not familiar with this road right here. There's Hatino village. Yep, there's some. Oh, let's get a little closer. Oh, you moved. Did, did... He did. He committed suicide. Come over here. Guts, give me gut. Oh yes, guts, guts. Okay, I can do two of them now. Where'd the other one go? You're not running because it's raining. You're running because they were chasing you. But where'd the other one go? I know there was three. I know one was dumb enough to get near too close to the cliff. And... There's an arrow. Paid for that one. That was the arrow that I shot. Ah, there he is. Okay, give me some more guts. You should be able to come along. Rain. Typical. But I'm not running all the way back over there to get you. You need to figure out this whole road thing. I'll go right up here over to this point. As close as I possibly can. It's not like there's a river that you need to cross. I can see you, horse. Oh. Hi, fellas. Stop running away. Alright, let's get back up here. There you go. Now that's all you needed. You needed to be able to see me. Apparently. I have to wonder about some of these boulders. Oh, there's another one of those assassin. That brotherhood of assassins that's always trying to kill me. If I go talk to them. Otherwise, they just they just ignore me. 
Alright, so we're gonna take the circuitous route. Around this big central valley the other way before heading up to Hatino Village. See if I can maybe pick up a few more guts. I know now. Whoa! It's okay, horse. I know that I can do two. Who's up here? Give me some guts. Man. They are really stingy with their guts. Oh, there was a cricket. Is that a bird over there? Oh, it looks like it's a choo-choo. Come here, choo-choo. Where'd you go? I know you're in there. I, there was a choo-choo right here. Hmm. It's just been a glitch in the game. I, I saw a choo-choo there. It's hiding in the grass. <laughs> On one of the earlier episodes, after I finished in Hatino Village, I made my way up and around that mountain up there. Oof. Getting back down, it was complicated. Oh well, okay, let's, uh, let's use a sword this time. Well, this sword is a two-handed sword. I don't want that. If I wanted a two-handed sword, I would have just stuck with the spear. Okay, moblin stuff. Not as useful, but I'll take it. Oh yeah, this this stuff that I've the, the boosts that I've had on this armor, plus having this champion's tunic, definitely made a difference here, because they're hitting me and it's only taken a quarter of a hard off, whereas before it was taking much more. Yeah, anyway, this is just the way to get up to that tower. Sometimes the added physics in this game are a bit annoying. But hey, at least I'm now on the ground for this. Wait a minute. Give me another another bow. This will do. Below his stuff this time. Do I even have a wooden? That's the only one. Okay. No, want the yeah, Boko bad. It's not as good anyway. I just need I need to have one wooden weapon because if I get into a lightning storm, the shield and some of my armor and that spear will just it'll build up a charge and I cannot survive electric attacks. That's not happening. Where'd this stuff go? Where's the other one? Why couldn't you get the other one also? Hmm? Hmm? Yup. Yup. And no pull. Nice. Get some good money off of those. What's down here? What do we see? I mean, I know that's in part, that's that loop down in the middle. Do we see one of those little hut areas? There's a, there's a house down there. But I don't see one of those little hut areas in the trees there. Which 
one is the... Ah, there it is. Let me step up closer. Oh, I don't see any kind of platforms or anything in there in those trees to indicate that there would be book goblins down there. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to bump that. So I'm not going to waste my time. We'll check these trees over here. They do like to congregate around trees. Oh, there's a big, tr big tree over there. It might be a. No, but there's a lot of other stuff here. So let's go ahead and grab it. Iron shroom. Clearly a little campsite. I don't need that stuff. I'll take the arrow though. What is that right there? It's just a bird. Okay. Don't care about the bird. Hmm. Oh hey! Where'd you go? Aw, oh, man. There we go. You're off the horse. Ken. These punks. Got you off the horse. Me some arrows and some guts. Well, one arrow. That's it. <sighs> Poop. I mean, I appreciate the arrow. Don't get me wrong. was nice of you to give me the arrow, but could have been much better. Where are you going, horse? I'm pretty sure you don't want to go that way. Go back up this way. I know you can go back up it because you came down it. Yeah, this is a different looking horse. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take this one back to the stables. Hello. I did. It's going very well. We got up early. No. Oh, it's because I was on a cliff. Yeah. Yeah, we were on a cliff. I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to risk slipping off. She's on with, she's still on with, uh, Isa. Hmm. Zoe has a friend in Germany that she talks to on the weekends. That's what we were discussing. So. Well, I got another horse. It's a pretty one. I should probably... Take it back to the to the shed. I mean to the stable. How far away is the stable? What I may do is just ride this one on up to Hatino Village. And then do the whole stabling cheat it's built into the game. Oh no. No. Uh, 
I don't see any guts. Where'd the horse go? Come back here, horse. Let's go. She may be fully... Fully suit, like, um, one over at this point. Wait a minute, why do I saw this in my hand? What was that? Okay, so I got that. Fangs and horns and... Don't need clubs. I don't need cobblin arms. Yeah, she's still not perfectly. Let's back away from the cliff. You have a thing with cliffs. I mean, <laughs> when I caught her in this time, she's... Getting herself, like, wandering off near the cliff. All right, let's see what this. I just, ooh, ooh. Switch, switch weapon. Okay, so let's sneak over here. I see bow goblins. Lots of bow goblins. Go up there and see what we can do. Okay, so. That one's on there. Looks like they're all going to be up on platforms. Yeah. So. I'm going to sneak up. It's going to have to be very careful. Yeah, because. Go on. Just alert everybody. Hit him in the face. Oh, you can come down here to me. That's nice. Makes it a lot easier. Come on. Give me some cop. Guts, guts, guts. Yes. So that gives me. I need two more. Two more. I should eat something just because. short and let's put pick another bow and a little bit above the head. Definitely use some more durable bows. Man. Got him. That finally got him in the head, but it didn't do that much damage to him.
There, that one's gone. Took all of my arrows to do it. But, thanks for replenishing them all. That's what I needed against that boss up on top of that mountain when I was trying to get all those electrical arrows. What? What? Are you still shooting? Are you guys still shooting at me? Who's shooting? Wow. Uh, shield, don't need that. See, some of these I don't know how I'm supposed to get up to the thing. I don't know if ladders appear. This one I know how to get up. I can sail over to that one later. Oh, you're just gonna come down. You guys are easy. You always give a lot. Okay, so now, let's go on up. Take out Mr. Lone Archer. Oh. I'm going to get the loot off of that one. There he is. He's over here. Okay. I'll go get that in a second. Open this chest. Opal. Money. I see guts. Wow, all those arrows that I shot that missed. And I get some bows to replace them. Nice. Lots of arrows. That was very nice of the game. More arrows. Ah, guts. I need one more. One more set of guts. Where'd that keys go? Over here? Yeah. Arrows. Any more? What do I have? I have more than I can than I when I first started. Out into this region. Well, so if I'd been a little more accurate with my arrow shots, I'd have a lot more. Ooh, what's this? Anything? Phrenic bow. Gee, I'll toss down one of these. Nice. More arrows. There we go. Oh, wow, that horse stayed there. Let's go see what this sign says and then go get the horse. Say we're fully bonded. My other horses are really bonded because they'll just stay there. Loshlo Harbor. That's down there. I could probably handle the quest on Hatino Beach now also. And the... Now that I have a decent supply of arrows, I could probably do the deer hunting one. Hmm. Nothing up there. I already did all that. So, yeah. After I go all the way up here, I'm going to have to ride this thing back to a stable. You don't have any stables in these towns, which is kind of crappy if you think about it. Like each of these, each of these zones only has one. So the one for this one, there's Ash. The one for this one is here. There's not another one in this zone. 
And there's not another zone out here. This is all water. I mean, I don't know what all this is, but I don't think I can go into it. So, the entire for the entire region, the only stable is right there. So, I'm going to have to ride her all the way back if I want to keep her. She's pretty. She looks like she's about the same as, as Ash, though. Did I just go the wrong way? No, I didn't. That was a different way up. I didn't mean to get off. Oh, what? That works. Ah, what the heck? Of course it is. Hylian rice, okay. Hey, 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 stop hitting my horse. And... Give me some guts. Yes! We have them all. Enough of this stupid... Hunting around for stuff. So now I can go. I can teleport to Kakariko Village, get the boost on my armor. Wait a minute, Elian Rice. And actually, I don't need a, a tree branch. I'll take a Boko Spear, even though it's not worth much more. How about this one over here, not worth any more. Looks like it's just another Boko Spear. Not, not a. Don't care about you. Go away. Not gonna hunt you. Don't need you. This is where I should have been going all along. Gallop in here. I don't think I have enough in terms of the supplies, the random supplies. Got lots of wood. ancient shaft, ancient screws, ancient springs. I gotta take all these to the other guy. They didn't. They wouldn't let me do anything with them here. So go on up here. And then we'll make our way back. I wonder if you have to actually have the horse with you when you register it. Most likely. See, I want that. I want that to be nice. I want to be able to lock, right? keep my own horses here. Morning. Need something from me? Build me something. What you want? Installations. Door. Okay. Game is due up front. Yep, I know. I know how this works. Okie doo. Now sing a stupid song. Okie doo, house, I'm coming for you. Carson, awaken your inner animal. We are beasts of construction. Been waiting. not sound like they're constructing. What's really coming along? Take a look if you get a chance. There we go, got the door. You can always come back here for hammers, I've noticed. Hi. Build me something. Night trees. 100 rubies, got it, okay. Yep, 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 yep. And up and do your thing. Construction instruction. 
Carson, recall that time you dazzled me? Well, it's dazzling time again, baby. Baby? Really? <laughs> okay, so now we have some trees. Yay. Practically perfect, if I do say so myself. I'm a little jealous. No, don't sit down. Easy there, Chatty. A little space. Let me get where I'm going before you talk to me. No, you're just going to have to get up again. Hmm. Sign with my name. That'll be 100 rupees. Yep. Come on. Up and at him. Time for some... Or is it the same thing? Bolson Construction. What's our credo? With seven colors of paint, buildings bloom like the spring. These things. I hope it didn't hurt. Link's house. Nice. See, I want to see if once I've done everything that's like on the house and the exterior, if they'll get it'll give me more options. Plant some flowers. Yep, yep. Come on. Up and at them. Oh, so I'm coming for you. Pulsing construction. What's our credo? If you can't pull the saw, then don't push it. Why would you need to be... For flowers. Alright, so now we have flowers. Yay. I was thinking with all that, that maybe there'd be like... Planters for flowers? Pretty flawless if I do say so myself. You should take a look. Uh, whatever. Build me something. Gear displays. Uh, another weapon mount. Maybe we'll do a shield mount also. Maybe I need to do something to trigger more up, upper level stuff. See, this sound is appropriate for making a wall display. I will go take a look as soon as you let me. Oh no, actually, one more, one more. Shield display. Yep, yep, I know. And after that, I'm done. I need 20 rupees to register this horse. Oh. Hang on a sec, gotta get my mind right. What's our credo? Any nail could fail, so don't let your hammer stammer. Yes, you're a little jealous. Alright, let's go inside. <laughs> okay. Nice. Ah, shield mount. Take, that's not the one I want to put up there. I have two of these. When did I get two of these? It said that true masters of the shield can redirect attacks as a rock redirect special. Why is this one glowing? Okay, so I'll equip this one. Now for our weapons. Which one do I want to display? 
Might save for now this one. No, this one. There. That looks cool. What else do I have? Anything? I really wanted this. It seems so low. I definitely want to take the hammer with me. I think I'll put this there. Now that's cool. What bows do I have? I don't think I'm going to use this one anymore because it's just going to break. But I don't want to. I don't want to build anything else right now. I really want to be able to save. To put my horses. I really want to be able to put my horses right here. A stable in my main, but look, I may have to trigger something else later in the game. Alright, horse. This slot might as well take one. Don't want to wear it. I don't want to use it though. Silver longsword. We'll do the spear for now. And I always have a place to come cook. And I can teleport here using the shrine right there. So it's nice been having a place I can always come cook. Of course, I don't know if that, that fire stays lit when it rains. Somehow it's always lit. So maybe those guys are doing it. Someone in here wants to see it's a sword. I'll come check that later. You're out of the town. There. Now let's go. We have a long road to follow. Before I can board you. But yeah, the whole boarding horse cheat is it's kind of broken because I can I can leave a horse somewhere like I'm doing right now with um, Ash and then I show up there and register this horse they will if I keep this horse they'll just automatically put Ash in um, storage honey No, I want to come back here. Come back here. Stop it. So that, pick this rock up, see what's underneath it. There we go. A single rupee. Oh, there's another rock. One of these rocks, I lifted it. It was at the top of one of those. It was on top of one of those really fat trees. And I got a... This looks like something also. Maybe it's thrives later. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I went on top of one of those trees and I picked up, a, I found a rock there, so I picked it up and one of those cocoa children, or coral children, were, was underneath it. Yeah, so I'll be able to go put her, put her in, and putting her in will trigger, if I want, if I decide to keep her, then they'll automatically board Ash. Or if I wanted to, I could just board her and then say I want to board Ash and they'll take her. Even though I'm leaving her way out there in the no middle of nowhere. But, well, okay. That works. Is there... Because I could go across the field instead of staying on the road. Let me come up here. Need to come out of this, yeah. I need to follow the road a little bit longer. One of these little canyons I went up to last time, I think it was farther along this road. That was an interesting experience. Yeah, it was near the fork in the road. 
Ran into one of those wizards that runs around in the sky. Not fun to deal with, but we did. Yeah, just when I come through on the other side of the wall, I just need to go straight across the thing instead of... ...following the road. She's gonna want to follow the road, but... I don't need to necessarily follow the road. That's it right there. Yeah, because there's the tower off to the left also. See, I see the chimney right there. And the blue fire. The blue thing, which is the shrine. Yeah, I'm heading right for it. Water! I don't want to run into the water. That blue one right there, that blue... Kind of blue horse right there, that one's always been... My eye. But I know that the single, the solid color ones are, they tend to be the easiest to. Hey. Didn't mean to be looking up the horse's butt, but okay. Oh. Hope you got yourself a new steed. Yes, please. Let's register it. Oh, it's fast. It's not a lot of strength. So I think it's a little weaker than, than, um, Ash. I gotta name it now. What do I name it? Yes. Please enter a name for your horse. What do I name the horse? Hmm. I know. I'll name it Dimmer. There we go. Ah. Yep. Your registration is complete. Board horse. There we go. So there you go, Dimmer. We ah. named See you next time and talk. Hey. Board horse. Yep. Boom. See, so, and now all my horses are stable. Go see Beetle. He's here. He is not. Is he nearby? Oh, there he is. What are you doing out here, Beetle? Yeah. Selling. Oh. <laughs> You're always so excited, Beetle. Wow. Yep. Got stuff to do in the house. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited. That'll be it. <laughs> he just loves buying stuff. And selling stuff. But he seems to me to be more excited about buying stuff. Uh, here. Time to go see a very, very large fairy. Who likes to laugh. A lot. Perform a jump slap by pressing Y after jumping while in the air. The shockwave created when you hit the ground can affect nearby monsters. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> All right, this way. Dang. Not quite that good. Almost had it. Try 
to predict the run on that one. An arrow up here, from what I missed. Maybe. Hard to tell where it went. Ooh, nightshade. Anything else around here? Growing. I know that there's that silent princess stuff that you needed at one point. But. Ooh, fairies. Fairy. Come here, fairy. Well, I don't know how much I need you anymore. Oh, I scared that one. Let's walk over here. Can't have too many fairies. I really like that you don't need a bottle for them anymore. Up there? Come on down. Come on down. Nope, that didn't work. That scared her. And she's gone. Yeah, I'm not really sure how much I need them anymore now that I've got Lady Misha's blessing and that. That basically does the same thing, but Lady, Misha, Lady Misha's Blessing may have a cooldown. So having those extra fairies won't be a bad thing then. There's a hardy radish. Got some bird meat. Two of them. That must have been a fat pigeon. Dang it. Stupid squirrels. Stupid squirrels. Squirrely squirrels. Is that it? There we go. There's a silent princess. They're a little bit less common up here than... Oh, there was a lizard. Sorry. I would have captured you. But I wasn't looking for you, so I'm sorry. I startled you for nothing. Ooh, there. Wow, wow. Here's... There we go. I haven't found any other use for them other than making her happy. When she's looking for stuff to make your armor better. But I figure it doesn't hurt to have as many of them as possible. Alright, come on. Come on out and say hi. They just like going over the top with these fairies, don't they? Enhance away. Get this one done first. Don't care. Don't really need to see all that. Helpful. Not quite as not not quite as strong as the champions thing with the boost on it. Yes, I know. I know. Why do you think I'm, uh, I brought all of the stuff? I went through the painstaking chore of getting all of the guts for you because I wanted a complete set. There. Yep. Do your thing. All finished. I thought you would imp I would improve some other clothes for you, but it looks like that's not possible right now. Or once I've restored it. Yeah, she'll probably be able to do more once I've found the other ones. Although I don't have any clue where they are. This is the only one they've been tipping me off to. So, that means my top one right now is 18. Now I'm up to 21. And man, am I a lightning rod. <laughs> Soldier's Helm. Um, I have a 
soldiers. Soldier shield. I don't have a soldier's sword. I don't know if those count. I don't really see anything like that's like obvious about a benefit. You know, they say there's supposed to be a benefit to wearing all these things, but I don't see it. Because all this stuff has the little the little star on it, meaning it's been up. And the blue just means I'm wearing it. Maybe there's something I'm still missing. If I use that, I'm up to 22. That's that's nice. All right, for now, I'm gonna go back to this because I don't want to be weighed down by all that stuff. Okay, I don't think I needed to do anything in Kakariko Village. Although I did find another memory. Am I supposed to bring her more of the memories? Captured memories. I did find an, uh, one memory. I should go take it to her and see what she see if she says anything different, or if this is just a, now you just got to get the rest of them thing. There we go. Fly right by the guards. Not that it matters. I see. You've gained the power of Mipha. I thank you for freeing one of the divine beasts, beasts from Calamity Ganon's control. But there are others still. Yes, I know. Mipha's power is out of healing. It will aid you when your strength has been exhausted. Still, the divine beast Van Vamido remains. That one was controlled by Rivali of the Rito. Divine Beast Va Naboris also remains. That one was controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo. And Divine Beast Va Rudania also remains. That one was controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. Yes. You should be able to find the general location of any remaining Divine Beasts on your map. Yes. That yellow tower in the middle is one that I tried to get, but it won't, wouldn't let me. I mean, I was just, I was getting destroyed by those guardians. Any more of those arrows. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Memories? You may not remember your last meeting with Ganon, but it did not end well for you. If you want a different outcome this time, you'll need to be properly equipped. Princess Zelda's memories are your memories as well. Visit the locations chronicled by the camera, and you may be able to, to, to recover bits of your memory. Once you have visited all the locations, return to them. Yeah, so it's a go-get-all-of-them, then come back there, not a one-at-a-time thing. Very well, since you lost your memory, I'll glad you tell you as many times as you need me to. I don't think I did this already. I think this is the first time. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. That's like the guy's song, we already know it. <laughs> Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. 
even the most powerful monsters pose little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. A hundred years ago, in preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. We must never again make that mistake. The princess has left the future of Hyrule in your hands. No pressure. All I can do is tell you. Okay. Don't need any more. How strange to think a hundred years ago you wore that champion's tunic every day. I feel as though I've been transported in time. Link, our princess, you must rescue her. Well, at that point, I think is a good place to call it. I've been going for several hours now. So... Let's see who we can cast a host to. Who's on right now? I had, you know, initially I'd, I'd had in mind casting a host to Imperial Jedi because I saw him on earlier today, but it looks like I have to pick someone else now. Who's on? Who's on? many good streamers to choose from. Ah. I know who. Queen B RPG. She's a RPG streamer who actually had a different another channel and was doing pretty well on it, but then she decided she wanted to rebrand because she could finally get the name she wanted. So she started over and just got back to uh, affiliate. So be sure to give her a check out. Check, check that channel. Today they're doing D&D &D all day. So this is slightly different than her normal video game RPGs. So as soon as I wrap this stream up, we will head on over. Cast her host. I'm just going to host. I may chat in her chat, but that'll be, you know, later. All right. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Appreciate it. Appreciate the hosts from earlier. And I will catch you 
next time. Which may be tomorrow, I don't know. We'll see. Usually I stream, and Zoe streams in the afternoon of her German stream, and then I'll do this one in the evening, but with the Super Bowl and everything, it may 